He is no ordinary warrior. Silent and unseen, he stalks the battlefield, scouting enemy positions and hunting human prey. His skills and the technology on which he relies have been refined over more than two centuries. For today's deadliest snipers are only the latest in a long line of dedicated and courageous marksmen. The sniper is a highly valued offensive asset. He serves as a reconnaissance expert and a precision marksman. His unique mission is to scout enemy positions and, when necessary, eliminate key individuals. At the top of his hit list, commanders, communication personnel and weapon system operators. And he can do it from a mile away. Among the world's best are the Royal Marines. As a sniper, you're supposed to have the best skills as a, as a soldier there are. You probably join the Marines because you want it to be a bit better than the average. And then again, in, within the Marines, you want it to be better again, so you'd probably be, want to become a sniper. Today, the Royal Marines are preparing for combat across the globe. They're improving their marksmanship skills with the latest weapon in the commando arsenal, the Accuracy International .338 long-range rifle. Also known as the Super Magnum, it's arguably the most powerful and battle-proven sniper rifle in the world and effective across a distance of a mile or more. The weapon itself is bolt action, a bolt operated weapon and it comes with a five round stat magazine. The round itself, yeah, it's quite a big old round, depending on the skill of the firer, um, but at 1200 metres we're expecting to get a kill with it. Bolt-action rifles are standard because they provide the sniper with a steady precision platform and let him extract the spent cartridge by hand. In an automatic weapon, the violent expulsion can be seen and heard, a luxury the sniper cannot afford. And it's a 3 times 12 variable Schmidt and Bender scope. The scope goes up in uh, 0.1 milrad clicks. Um, giving us a 10 millimeter adjustment at 100 meters and um, we can fire out to 1500 meters with the scope. When the sniper stalks, he's armed with the standard service rifle, the SA-80 5.56 millimeter for rapid fire, close combat protection. He carries the sniper rifle and scope in a drag bag. It's only used when he needs precision long range accuracy. The hard won lessons convinced all major armies of the need to train snipers for combat. The snipers of the elite Royal Marines are no exception. They have maintained their legendary reputation in conflicts all over the world, including the Falkland Islands, Sierra Leone, Kosovo and Afghanistan. To serve as a sniper in a commando fighting unit, Royal Marines have to pass the oldest and arguably the most challenging sniper training in the world today. The commando snipers of the Royal Marines have proved themselves in countless conflicts across the globe. They're regarded as among the best trained and most effective practitioners of this deadly craft. Commando snipers work in pairs. Number one is a shooter, armed with a purpose-built bolt-action rifle. Number two is a spotter, equipped with state-of-the-art optics and laser range-finding scopes. Together, the snipers can scout and report on enemy positions and, when required, find and eliminate targets. When an attack commences, a sniper continues to bring lethal fire to bear. His precision skill serves to soften the objective and protect the lives of the advancing force. Sergeant Shep Shepard is in charge of training. The definition of the Royal Marines role, um, sniping-wise, is 
is a Marine who disrupts enemy C2 uh, command and control by day and night. Okay, you should pick it up on the Shepard center. and his hand-picked team of trainers all have active duty experience. You are firing at the longest distance here, so it will be hard to pick up the shot, all right? Yeah. Try base centre, go on in your time. Respected worldwide, the challenging nine-week course takes place in the hills and bramble thickets of southern England. There are lessons in marksmanship and advanced field craft. In simulated combat scenarios, trainees are tested in long-range shooting, observation, reconnaissance, stalking, camouflage and concealment. Everything's trained as if you're going against another sniper who's as well trained as you. If you don't train to that level and you are up against uh, another sniper, at the end of the day, it's people's lives, isn't it? With a 50% failure rate, the Royal Marines only select a few special men for the course. On average, they have three years of active duty in a commando fighting unit. In this intake, only 14 have been selected. I feel very lucky to be on the course, so if I can pass this, and become a sniper, then I feel that my career can only just go on from that and carry on, up and up. If I get between seven and nine people through, I'll, I'll be happy with that. This is the beginning of week five of nine. The trainees are now on the long distance field firing range for the first time. They're using the Royal Marines' latest sniper weapon, the Accuracy International .338 long range rifle. I'm hoping to hit them every time, first time. That'd be ideal. Uh, all call signs, 1 0, OK, why don't? Uh, fire one ready, over. Part of today's lesson tests the men's ability to work in pairs. Working together, obviously discussing at all times wind and range and stuff like that. Um, so that you obviously get the first shot and the first shot always matters. For a long shot, the trainees use their laser rangefinders to get the distance. They also have to adjust for wind, angle to target and ballistics. That is the bullet's weight, power and flight path. They make a detailed diagram known as a range card to help their calculations. The trainees end their session with their most challenging assignment. In a simulated battlefield scenario, the sniper's mission is to eliminate a four-man enemy patrol when they reach the crossroads about a mile away. The four targets in the field represent the enemy. To make it more difficult, all four pairs have to coordinate their fire and strike as one. The operation commanders direct each of the four teams onto their specific target. Down helps establish a rhythm. They fire at will. I have control, I have control. Stand by. One man shot. Five. Five. Four. four. The sniper trainees must pass the marksmanship test in order to move on to the field craft phase. They did very well in the marksmanship. Uh, we lost two people in the marksmanship, um, which is, is quite good. You can normally expect to lose anywhere between one and four, so we was quite happy with two. In weeks five to nine, the remaining 12 must pass the advanced field craft part of the course before they can serve as snipers in a commando fighting unit. They've just started last week doing field craft, and they're, they're quite good, they are quite good. I'm expecting quite good things from the course as a whole. 